hello everyone welcome to Jiotech. and in this video we'll be looking at the igcsc ict and um, people to document production february march 2020 i'll be looking at it has just one variant okay so please um you will need the cad source file which has been provided and please it's always important to always read through the instructions please read through the instructions okay it's very important okay and please the total mark for these people is 80 okay the numbers of marks of the people is shown in bracket you have been supplied with the following source files okay all these are the files we have been supplied with so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and we can just check on it um, obviously I have evidence document duplicated twice and I have a meal duplicated twice um, that is two um, four so it's correct okay you're going to carry out some tasks for a gas appliance servicing company that's fine tax one evidence document open the file m2 120 evidence nope i think we're done with this just can save yeah save here okay make sure your name center number candidate number we appear on every page of your evidence document so make sure your name your center number your candidate number is going to appear on every page now it's not stated if it's going to be on the header or not is it going to be on the footer but make sure that you have it in the header or is there but it appears on every page okay it can be in the header it can be the footer depending on how you want it it could be left aligned center aligned right aligned or you could just pick each of them in their various alignment okay but it must appear on every page it means that if they go to page two they have to see if they go to page three they have to say okay so i'm just going to click on insert um click on header click on the columns I'm typing my name. My center number is A N zero one seven A for Agile and for Andy and seventeen. My candy number is one two three four. Now close. Save this document in your work area with the file name M two one twenty evidence followed by your candidate number for example this now all i have to do is i don't want to have saved this already as a word document in my main mesh so i'm just quickly going to close this okay i'm going to save it and close this and i'm going to go to file right here right click on it and for windows 10 you see something like this you click on rename and i'm just going to add my center number one two three four okay so obviously you're going to do save us but for me i've done that i don't want to do on the save us again okay so um so i'm just going to open this okay it's fine okay all right so um just going to close this okay so uh, this is fine by me um tax two you will need your evidence document during the examination to place screenshot when required. So tax two document. You're going to edit a document where where paragraph styles have been applied. Okay. Why this is document where the part so the paragraph style have been applied and we are only going to edit um that document I edit the document where that paragraph have been applied. Now some of these styles will need to be edited. So the styles have been created. And we are going to edit it now styles that have been created for papers please pay absolute attention please because obviously see you you, you might you might be asked to i'm not going to be but you might be asked to place screenshots on 
um, the modifications you've made on that style so you need to pay attention okay the page layout is a4 page orientation with a 2.5 um 2.54 um centimeter margin okay portrait always with the 2.54 centimeter do not make change do not change the setting that's fine using a stable software package open the file m2 120 here. so let's open it servicing yep and then we're editing save the document in your work area with the finding safety so i'm just going to copy it obviously in your exam it will be hard, hard copy and you need to type this exactly the way it is okay if it's uppercase all true let it be uppercase all true if it's the first one uppercase or the lowercase let it be the same thing do not add anything to it just copy it the way it is now make sure it is saved in the format of the software using so we're going to change it to a new file name and it has to be saved in the format of the software we use it so i'm just going to click on file click on save us um type this here to paste and the um, default will be word document and i'm going to save that evidence one okay this is done Evidence one, place in your evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved. So I'm going to place the evidence document a screenshot to show that this file has been saved. Make sure there is evidence of the file type. So we're going to place the evidence document to show that the new file safety has been saved and there's going to be evidence of the file type using this, um, the format of the software you're making use of. Okay, so let's do that. So obviously, um, in Windows 11, you have to click on View, and then you can change it to Details. For Windows 10, you right-click on it, click on... Um, you're going to see something like this for Windows 10, and you're going to change this view to Details, whichever one works. So I have this right here. Just going to double-click on this, and I'm going to extend this a little. Just want the Word document to show. And uh, I'm going to sort this to Date Modified, because I want safety to show. Now I'm going to take a, a snip on it. Okay, now the whole essence I'm doing this is so that they can see the location of where the file is being saved. Obviously, in your, in your main exam, your, fo your folders will be saved. Your folders is going to be stored on your desktop, which means it's easier for them to see the name on your laptop. Okay? All right. So I'm just going to save this here uh, in Evidence 1. Okay. Okay, that's done. Okay, no. If I go in, uh, just to ensure that this, okay. Question two, place in the head of the document, your name, center number, and candidate number left aligned. I'm going to click on insert, click on header, let's check. In the head of the document, okay. So click on header, three columns, your name, center number, and candidate number left aligned. So my name is going to be here, Ijao ND, comma, center number is AN017-1234 as my candidate number. An automated field to display today's date, right aligned. So right here, I'm going to click here to show today's date. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. Click on insert. Remember, it's going to be a field that displays it. So under explore quick path, 
I'm going to click on the field here and I'm going to choose date. Now notice that there is no format given, right? So we just have to just pick anyone. So for me, I'm going to pick it in full and I'm going to click on OK. Um, so we are done with our footer. So, uh, okay. Now place in the footer, automated page number left aligned. So we're going to place in the footer, automated page number left aligned. So we're going to create the footer right now. So, um, close this. So obviously this is done. So click on insert, click on footer, three columns. And this is going to be uh, automated page number left align. So click here, page number, click on page number here, current position and play number. Okay. The file name with its full part right align. So the file name with its full part, not just the file name, but they want to see the part of where that file name is being stored and it's going to be right aligned okay so i'm just going to click on insert explore quick parts click on field click on the file name locate file name here and add the parts to the file name click on, click here to check it and click ok so we have this okay now obviously this is meant to be right aligned so i'm just going to click on home and i'm going to click on the right align okay and i'm going to take off this okay so that is done okay make sure that all items align to the page margin okay and to check if they align to the page margin I'm going to do this view, check the grid lines to ensure that they match at the page margin. You can see the right align is right here. Um, same here. That's fine. Uncheck this. No other text or placeholders appear in the header and footer area. There is no placeholder such as the text box, and no other text are placed in the headers or footer. So make sure none of that is there. Headers and footers are displayed on all pages. Okay. So if you scroll down here, you'll see that they are all they are appearing in all pages. Okay. All right. So this is done. Okay, moving on. The house type specification for a paragraph are. So we're going to check them. So they have all been created for you. Bravo. We've created all for you. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, so we have the GC title, GS title. So we're just quickly going to modify. Now, for the purpose of this video, what I'm going to do is. The ones that are, that we're going to modify, I'm going to check it. The ones that are, we don't need modifications, I'm going to leave it, um, you know, like that. Okay, so the ones that we're modifying, it helps us to, to do screenshots. If I'm modifying anyone, I'm going to say done. If I don't modify, I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. All right. So, um, so the title, right click on it, click on modify. And it should be based okay look at it the GS title is the Sun serif and obviously I've explained that if you're watching my video you know that the difference between the Sun serif and the area for the Sun serif uh, or serif for the, for the Sun serif they have straight edges which is a good example is your area for the serif the little ticks it has on um, the latest and a good example is your Times New Woman. Okay, so it's already there on area. Font is 20. 
alignment is center all caps okay single spacing before and after is zero so we didn't do anything here okay so uh, so i'm not going to i'm just going to leave it blank the subtitle we're going to check okay it's better for the subtitle i'm just going to modify it all right um we have the sans serif which is the area is there 18 alignment is right it legs nope so um enhancements it legs it wasn't there um so it legs here um single line spacing let's check if anything is added in the paragraph okay so we added it links here so we added something here so um we're going to do this now in cases of modifications please pay absolute attention to check the ones you've modified so you don't make mistakes okay so i'm just going to click okay Um, subhead I'm going to modify the subhead um, now you can see that it has been applied already if it wasn't applied this is not going to show okay um, so um, we have the Times New Woman uh, we have 16 it is bold and on the line is single and the space after is 16 let's check yes so we have not made any modification to this so i'm simply going to leave this blank gs section head so let's modify that now cases of these modifications you have to be careful because i made a modification without even knowing so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to hit on enter click on the blank space and now you can always go back to it. you can always delete it by hitting on delete right there so i'm just going to click on enter and click on this empty space so that when i make my modifications it's going to be as a sample text and it's not affecting any of the style they have applied remember they've applied it so you don't forget very very important okay so i'm just going to right click on this click on modify now it should need sample text because it's not applying to anything okay section uh the section head we have the self which is the times new woman um 14 left all caps and underline let's check nope all caps is in font uh, yes all caps on the line is a single and space after is eight so yes so this has been done so we are not applying anything on the section head either let's check the js the js body the js body okay Let's modify that. Serif. Now, for the JS body, it is serif, but I left it in area. And this is why you need to know the difference between your sans serif and your serif. Because for your serif, it is your time streamer because of the little ticks it has on the later. For your sans serif, they have straight edges, which is the area. For JS body, it is the Times New Woman, so we're going to change it here. Um, 14. Justified. So we're going to change it right here to paragraph. 
click on justified okay and it's still doing here enhancement is none and space after is 14 so type 14 here so that is uh, for the body okay it's 14 um, justified 14 so done and done okay now obviously for body we added um we changed the serif and we also changed the space after and justified so i'm just going to check this 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 were the modifications we made just table modify Times New Woman, okay. 14, okay. Left, okay. Enhancement is none, okay. <laughs> Single. Click on the paragraph. Okay, that's fine. So, we have not done anything here. So, um, that's fine. Um, GS list, let's check for the GS list. For the JS list, right click, modify. We have um, the times new woman, yes. 12, yes. Left align, yes. A tick, it has a tick, so let's check for the ticks. So click on numbering, bullets. So a tick was not done. So we're going to do a tick um, bullet indented one space. So we're going to add this here. Yes, so we are adding this here. Okay. And um, indentation of one centimeter. We are doing that. Okay. It was not even one centimeter. It was 0 0.6. Okay. Um, 0 0.63 um, indented from the left. So we're changing it to mm -hmm. one point. Uh, to one centimeter now it's hanging and we're not told about hanging okay they said one takes bullet indented one centimeter from the left margin we're not told about hanging so I'm just going to remove it to none because we were not told about that okay it's important you know the features um, that are there in your alignment and your enhancement very very important single um, the line spacing is single right there it's a single 1.5 line spacing and double space before and after is zero so we have made some you know minor changes um, right here we have made some changes right here um, so we are going to check this because we made changes on this um, so um, we're going to do that so if we go through we are going to see that fairly okay those things have been applied um, they have been applied to it and that's fine now moving on this style have been correctly applied to the document but three do not match C, so we know of the three, but three do not match the half size specification. In step three, um, you will correct this and provide evidence. Identify and correct these three styles. So we have corrected these three styles. Um, okay, so that's it. 
Yes, okay. They said, I didn't find quite this thing, so I've done that. Place in your evidence document screenshot to show the definition of each style you have corrected. Okay, so obviously, we're going to place a screenshot to show um, the modifications that we have made in this style. Okay, so um, the JS subtitle in everything too. JS subtitle, click on modify. I don't know if you know, I'm just going to take only this because this covers everything. Um, since we're doing three here, just going to take a click here. Done. Evidence two. Okay. okay. Just going to reduce it. Um, the JS body as well, so we're going to do that. We'll take a screenshot. Finally, the JS list. Okay. So that's done. So I've taken the screenshot to show for it. Okay. All right. So I've taken for the JS subtitle, um, the body, and of course the list. Okay. So we have done this. Place, change the layer, the page layout so that all the text following the subtitle report for home customers. So that all the text from following, okay, so we're going to change so that all the text following, so any text that is following the whole customers, it display in two columns with, with one centimeter space between the column. So let's do that, okay? So um, following the text. That's what they said. They said so that the so that all the text following reports. So the text following this is this. So this obviously following this. So we're just going to do this from here. Normally they say from a subheading, 
Uh, but now they saying um, following the subtitle. Okay. And uh, we're going to two columns with one centimeter space. So click on layout. Click on columns, more columns, two right here. And the spacing is just one centimeter space. Okay. Oh, wait. I did not copy it. Um, so obviously that test is hanging as well. Just going to go to a scan to quick quick to check what could be problem. So obviously, um, I think the reason why this is is um, it is what it is, and there are so many spaces is I wouldn't know, but um, I think it's best to leave it like this because um, going through it and seeing the way it is, I think maybe we have something we are going to do to it. So um, let's just leave it the way it is and. Then we'll see what happens okay um so i'm just going to click here and i'm also going to add this alone that is why it's important that you just check okay um click on the layout um more columns two and one centimeter okay one centimeter space done okay so we'll leave it like this um Okay, that's fine. Import the image m2120ac.jpg. So this is done. Place this at the start of the paragraph below the section heading. Regular tax you can do, do yourself. I'm just going to search it. Regular. So below here, because obviously it's going to be um, below the section heading. Okay, uh, so let's import it. Click on insert. Click on pictures from this device. M2120 AC. Okay. Resize this image so that it is half the width of the color. Mm. I didn't specify. The aspect ratio is maintained so it is half the width of the color. So we're going to look at it. So this is 6.39. Okay, so um, I'm just going to bring up my calculator. So um, 6.39 divided by 2. Little mathematics here. So we have it 3.20. Okay, 3.20. So we can have that. So we're going to reduce it 3.20. Okay, and done. Okay, that's fine. All right, um, so we have done with this. Align the image to the left margin um, and top of the text left margin and top of the text yeah that's okay that is it okay done 
locate the table and format it to look like this. Wow. Five marks. So <laughs> you can wonder. So we're going to do this. Come on, guys. We can do this. Okay. So look at the table and format it to look like this. Okay. So let's do that. Um, so let's look at the table. That seems very scary. Um, just quickly go to the chat. Yeah. Uh, so let's let's do that. Um, so this is the table here which we're going to format, and the table is going to look like this. Okay, noted. So they're not asking for anything; it has to look like this, right? <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So let's begin. So we're going to um, have to insert some borders. Obviously, I would prefer. Um, okay, this is fine, um, but it needs to be some. I will do borders and shading, all of them, obviously. And the width of it is going to be two width, but I want to be sure it needs to look so. Two width is fine, um, uh, it's fine, it's applied to the table. This is fine, yeah. It's looking like that now for the service the service is going to be merged from one to five okay so we're going to do this when you see something like you don't have to be scared just take it one step at a time obviously we're going to merge done and it's going to be center okay center done annual boiler service boiler and control so obviously we're going to adjust this to have a um, the annual boiler okay so um so it's going to look like this. So obviously we we'll have to adjust this. Um, so how do we go about it? Okay. So um, I think what we are going to do right now is let's work on this ones to five. So we can align this, and right here on layout we're going to change the text direction to this. Okay. Done. I like this. And we're going to change the text direction to this. I like this. And we're going to change the text direction to this. I like this. We're going to change the text direction to this. I like this. We'll change the text direction to this. Okay, let's look at how it is. It is centralized, so we're going to do that here. Good. Centralize. Okay. And we are going to adjust this. Okay, so obviously we're just going to Okay. Now notice it doesn't have to be exact, but it has to be near perfect enough.
Okay, let me check this. Set this. Okay, so this is what they want. So just going to do this. I think this is okay. Yep, I think this is this is fine. This is fine. Um, so what else? And we're going to add a gray. So on that table design, we're going to put um, usually the light gray background. So we'll do that. This is going to be black. Click on home, change this to black, done. So this is fine. Um, the text as well, but I want to be sure. I'm just going to right click on the table, modify on it. Oh, that is the font color. I'm just going to click on font. Okay, that's the font color. So we're not going to temper with it. That's the font color that has been specified. So we're just going to leave it like this. We're not tempering with it. Um, so I, I think that's done. I think it's it's okay. It's okay. Um, I think that's done. Um, okay. So let's move on. Now make sure the table fits within the column width. No words split on on text wrap. That is, there's no word e coming down here. The grid lines are visible when printed. So we're going to check again to ensure it fits within the column width. Um. Click on view grid lines. Really, it doesn't feel. Oh, yeah. Yes, it does. It's perfect now. Um, this is a bit outside, but it's fine. This is okay. So this is fine. This is okay. It, it, the, the text fit within the column width, and that is what is important. Okay. Um, so we're just going to check this um, right there in the table. We go to table uh, layout. We go to the layout, auto fit, and we have auto fit window content. Um, Okay, this is better. Uh, nope. Click on view. Fine. Okay. 
okay, this is okay, this is better. And we have been able to ensure that this is um, centralized across board. So this is okay, um, done. Yep, uh, my view here. So usually, um, if it's going to fit, it's, it's important, imperative that you check the grid lines and you can make your adjustment to it, okay? Um, so this is done and it's five marks. Produce a vertical bar chart using the file M1 120 chart. So obviously, um, I'm just going to look at where it is. I'm going to since we produce, I'm just going to save it as an Excel document over here. Um, just want to be sure February March okay it is um, I'm going to save this here as um, an Excel workbook done um, now they said produce a vertical bar chart using the file um, m2120 chart the CSV to compare the numbers of gas electric aircon engineers for the not and east region only okay the north and east region so we have here um the, to compare the numbers of gas electricity and air conditioning for the north and east region only so obviously what we're going to be doing is we're going to select this We're going to select uh, the north, this, and we'll select this here, sorry, north, east, select this here, select this here, okay, and we'll click on insert, add a chart, a vertical chart, they said, a vertical chart, a vertical bar chart, so we'll do that here. For north and east only, so we are expecting that. Um, I think this is better to compare. So I'm just going to make modifications to this. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select data now under this edit one two three i'm just going to select this right here and i'm going to click on ok okay so we have the gas electricity and aircon okay that's fine by me format the chart to include the title regional coverage I'm going to copy this Format the chart to include regional coverage. Select all. I'm going to paste this here. The value assist tied to numbers of engineers. Copy this. I'm just going to add an assist tied to. Copy all, paste. Okay. The category axis labels to to identify gas, electricity, and aircon. I've done that because is if you've been going through my videos in 2018, 2019, obviously you know that um this um values needs to be this. So uh, the category, this is for the category, this is for the values as well. The category assist tied to areas of expertise. So we're going to add 
a category title. So this is the label for the values title, category title. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. As is title. Okay. I'm going to paste this here. Done. The value data labels above each bar. So I'm just going to add the labels, data labels. Outside then. A legend to identify the regions. Good, we have done that. The legend is for north, this is for east. Place this chart. So we have done with it. Uh, I'm just going to copy it. Copy. So um, place this chart after the paragraph that ends how we cover the region. Okay, how we cover, this is how we cover the region, cover the region, okay, <laughs> right, cover the region, so, um, play this chart after the paragraph that ends, how we cover the regions, so it's after the, the paragraph that ends it, so we're doing that here, so I'm going to paste it, hmm, Okay, going to check this. Now I'm going to place this as a picture. Yes, I'm going to place this as a picture, and this is going to fit in. Yes. Now, most of the time, you have to adjust with it to ensure that you have what you're looking for. I'm just going to click on the grid line and good. This is fine by me. Yes, it is. Make sure the chart fits within the column width and all data and labels are fully visible. I, I want to be sure that they are fully visible. Yes, they are fully visible. Okay. And these six marks, six marks, Spell check and proofread the document. Okay, so let's spell check and proofread the document. I think I'm done with you. Um, so let's spell check. Click on review. Check spelling and grammars. Okay. This includes servicing and safety. I have not seen, I think this has to be checks, you know, like, let's, let's see. Okay, so I think it has to be, because we're talking about services, so checks has to be, um, include servicing and safety checks on your gas um, central heating boiler. Yeah, I think that's fine. You can also, let me see this. Right. Thank you. So this is better. Portration and conventions, let's see what went wrong. Um, okay. Listen to me. Okay. 
Okay. Um, vocabulary. Now for vocabulary, we can have. Okay, so we have um, several different levels of services. I think it's fine. Uh, I don't think it's misspelled. I'm just going to ignore this. Um, resume, I'm still going to ignore this. I think we're good to go. Um, clarity, we still have issues with clarity. It's fine. Conciseness. Okay, I think at all time is fine. It's fine. So I think we've done a good job. Um, we've done a good job here. So um, so we've been able to we've been able to proofread and um, spell check and proofread the document. So I'm just going to save this here. Make sure that the paper size, page orientation, and margins have not been changed. We did not make any changes to this because obviously we left it the way it is. And if we go to the layout, go to this, it's still the way it is. We did not touch anything on it. Um, it is what it is. We didn't touch anything on it. Okay. Um, because obviously what they did there was um, a 2.54. So we do not make any changes to it, okay? There are no windows or offense, so let's check. No windows or offense. Yes, there are no windows or offense. Um, this is obviously fine because it's no more like a window offer because obviously if we put this here, it's still, this is okay. It's still not going to work. So um, uh, if you, you can take a close look, so um, the examiner gets it because obviously that's not going to work, and they kept that for a reason there. So we're just going to leave it like that. They are not we use the offense like they are not empty spaces, and they are not um, um, subheadings just standing on their own. So uh, I think this is fine. The tables and lists are not split over two columns. So let's check. To ensure that the tables, one colon, one colon, this is splitted. So let's say the tables and lists are not split over two columns or pages. So obviously the list are are meant to be in one page. So um. I think I'm just going to hit on enter right here. This fine. So there is just one colon. Okay, one colon. One colon. One colon. So this is this is good. Um I think this is better. Okay, this is better. And that's fine. Um, the spacing between all items is consistent. Um, the spacing are, is consistent. Um, yes, they are consistent. Okay. Um, all right, it's consistent. And save and print the document using the file name and format in step one. It's important you go back to step one to check. So uh, save the document you're working with the file name safety. Um, so they're right there um safety okay um and we have them right here okay safety um print the document but make sure you have entered your name center number attendee number on your document okay all right so we're just going to save click on save click on file click on save us okay and then we can now print and we're printing this with print out one. So we'll copy this. We just want to be sure where this is. This is for June. And nope. February, March. 
21 so print out one and we're going to click on save so these people have been tricky um if you don't follow it carefully um you might make some mistakes um i think it's been it's been exciting but it's been very tricky and students um document potential you need to have patience because if you don't have patience you're going to make a lot of mistakes and um so i think that's the end for the document production for by march 2020 uh, thank you for watching please do well to subscribe to my youtube channel for more um, igcse ict practical videos thank you